Calvo and Clark are practicing a risky game of dual representation, serving as general counsel to both the airport and several airport employees in their private affairs. Carlos Salas entered the airport into contracts with Calvo and Clark that waived representation rights of the airport, handicapping the airport in future lawsuits. And the airport is paying their employees legal bills for services rendered in a matter outside the scope of their employment. As a result, public funds have been footing the bill for airport employees' personal legal bills from Calvo and Clark. Calvo and Clark is sending engagement letters like the one seen here to airport employees to be their attorney in a personal matter where the airport has no involvement. The conflict arises when these employees discuss or inform the general counsel of information which may negatively impact the authority. This conflict is inherent in these types of dual representation. Guam International Airport Authority, Mary Torres. The airport is not a party to, um, to this, this case. They're, the legal counsel is representing those people in their personal capacities, not on behalf of the airport. The deposition of airport employee Rosie Balahaja shows that the airport gave their employees a take it or leave it offer. Either Calvo and Clark would represent the employee and the airport would pay the bills, or the employee would have to find their own counsel and pay for it out of their own pockets. In fact, the documents show that more than $18,000 in public funds has been paid to Calvo and Clark by the airport in these dual representation matters. However, as Harold Parker from Guam Legal Services states, Dual representation is not acceptable. Well, then that would be a definite problem. According to Calvo and Clark engagement letters with GIAA employees, although our fees will be paid by the airport authority, the airport authority is not our client with regard to this particular matter, and we will be acting in your best interest and not representing the interests of the airport authority. We've suggested, like to two entities, uh, the Guam Memorial Hospital as well as the airport, that they consider hiring in-house attorney. The concern really is, are those uh, legal bills being scrutinized by management? Ensuring that fundamentally are the costs reasonable uh, is what management should always do in looking at any costs, and in particular legal costs. But airport records show that payments have been made in full to Calvo and Clark for these personal legal fees.